I have grave concerns with this budget resolution today. The overspending continues in New York State to the tune of 23% this year. We actually were here last year as well, and I had the same concerns. This type of out-of-control spending is totally unsustainable. To be honest with you, and to be honest with all of my colleagues, I don't think spending is ever going to be cut in the New York State budget. So at the rate in which we are spending money in our state, I think New Yorkers can expect a steep increase in taxes at some point in the future. This year, the state is fortunate to have a great deal of one-time revenues. One-time revenues that are not being appropriately spent or effectively spent across our state. Instead of these one-time revenues being spent on investments, they're being spent on recurring expenses. Recurring expenses, and that's something that is fiscally irresponsible. We should be using these revenues to address key issues in New York State and make critical infrastructure investments, things like rural broadband, which affects dozens and dozens of districts across New York, New York State. Despite this increase, this massive increase in spending year over year, many upstate initiatives are simply forgotten or passed over. With so much new spending, it is hard to imagine that there is so little being done in this budget to lower residents' costs. In fact, I would argue that many of the policies outlined in today's proposal will actually increase energy costs as well as other costs on the residents and the businesses of our great state. I have said this many times. New York has an affordability crisis, and this budget does nothing to remedy that affordability crisis. In closing, it was said earlier today that this one house proposal was crafted with hope and intelligence. Although that sounds very nice, New Yorkers need a proposal that is crafted with confidence and vision. Confidence and vision for the people of the state of New York. That's what they need out of the state Senate and out of the state legislature. For these reasons, I'll be voting in a negative.